What up, what up? Wimboy's here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can animate and keyframe our materials from Cinema 4D and Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this one actually came across from someone that took my creating an Unreal course. His name is Network83. And he was asking me, he was having trouble with his emission inside of Unreal. He wanted to keyframe it, I guess, so that it could dim and get brighter at certain points. And so I said the easiest solution would be to bring this from Cinema 4D into Unreal because it makes your material nodes and everything for you. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we do that here. So as you can see, I have Cinema 4D open right now. And I just have a basic figure just so we have something that we could bring over. So I'm going to come down here in the bottom left. I'm just going to double click, make a material, and I'm just going to name this one glow. And if I double click on my material, I'm actually going to, I could leave the color on. I'm going to turn off reflectance and then I'm going to turn on luminance. And that's all I'm going to do from here. And so now what I'm going to do is hit control D on my keyboard. And you can see right here in the lower right hand corner, is saying we have the Cineware tab. This is what you want to have selected. And this is how we save our files out for Cinema 4D to bring it into Unreal Engine. And so I don't have any animation going on here and I don't have any materials like JPEGs or PNGs or anything of that nature. So I just want to have this one selected. But if I did have any animations, of course you would select this. And if you had like a PBR or something like that, you would select this. So all I'm going to do now is just save my project as and I'm just going to name this one glow. I'm just going to save it to my desktop here and we should be good there. So the next step from here is I'm going to open up Unreal Engine, set up the Data Smith plugin and bring everything over. So I have Cinema 4D already open. So of course I'm going to come up to settings, come down to plugins and make sure I have all selected right here. And inside of my search, I'm just going to type in C4D and that's going to bring up the Data Smith importer. I'm going to enable it. I'm just going to click yes. It's letting us know that it's in beta still. And then I'm just going to click restart now. And I should restart Unreal Engine. It should only take a few moments since we just started with a blank scene. Okay, so we have Unreal open back up. It's restarted. So I'm just going to close this out. And then I'm going to come up to Datasmith. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go back to my desktop here. Find my C4D project, which I named Glow. I'm just going to click open. And then I'm just going to bring it into my content folder. Click OK. And then I'm just going to leave everything checkmarked. I'm just going to hit import. And there we go. So now we have our figure inside of our scene. And if I look down here in my content browser under glow, I have my geometry here, which is my figure. And then I also have my material here as well. So I'm just going to click on my figure and actually add the material because I didn't even do that in cinema, but I could just do it here. So now we have the glow material on our character and I can actually come over here in my world outliner on the right and just delete some stuff out that's in the way. So my player start. I'm going to delete that and then I could probably also delete the sky sphere. There we go. So now we just see the character in here. So now what I want to do is I want to bring in the timeline into our scene so that we can properly keyframe everything out. So all I'm going to do is come up here to cinematics, click on this. And then right here, it says add level sequence. I'm just going to add it. And then right here is telling you to name it. I'm just going to leave it at default, click on save. And now we have our timeline down here. And so the next step from here is we basically want to bring our figure into our timeline here. So I'm going to come up to my world outliner, click and drag the figure down into here. And then from here, you know, we don't have any materials or anything in here yet. There's still a few steps that we need to take to properly bring this in the keyframe it. And so I want to click on this track button right here with the plus symbol, click on this. And then right here under components, it says static mesh component zero. I want to click on this one right here. And now that I added a new level here. And so again, I want to click on a plus sign with track under static mesh component zero. And then I want to come up here to material parameters, click on element zero. And now under element zero, we can start adding in the different parameters that we want to keyframe. So just to show you guys, I'm going to come back to my content browser, double click on my material. And the reason I like bringing stuff over from cinema, if you haven't seen any of my tutorials in the past, Whenever you bring in some materials from Cinema 40 into Unreal, it creates the material node for you. And so this is called a material instance in which basically we could just start clicking stuff on that we want on and you could just click them off. We don't have to do anything with the nodes or anything. If I come over here to hierarchy and click on C40 master, you can see this is what our Cinema 40 material nodes look like. If I zoom back, you can see that we have a ton of nodes in here. 
I mean, this is crazy. So it's cool that they built this all out for us. So we don't have to do any of the hard work. We could just get into creating. So if I come back over to Glow, you can see I have two parameters turned on right now to use color and use emissive. So those are the two that I could keyframe. But if I ever want to keyframe anything else, all you have to do is activate it here. So I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to come back over to my timeline, AKA the sequencer. I'm going to click on material element zero, the parameter with the plus sign. And now you can see right here, I have my color, my desaturation, my emissive color, my glow strength, et cetera, et cetera. And so I know that network 83 was asking me about the emissives. So I'm going to click on this here. And now you can see we have a keyframe here. And so right here under emissive glow, you see that we have a number parameter and I actually turn that up and I could turn it down. So let's say I want to start at like 20 and then bring it like 90 frames in and then hit, hit zero. And then we're gonna go back to the beginning, click play. And there you go. So that's basically how you add keyframes to any of the parameters inside of your materials using Cinema 4D and Unreal Engine. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know that Network83 said they purchased my course and this is something that I didn't cover in my course. So I've decided I'll put it up on YouTube and you guys can take it from there. If this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time, stay fresh, keep creating and I'll catch you in that next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.